How well do you know your wrestling trivia? And I have half the brain that you do. Well, I'm your host, Kevin J. Callis. Yeah. And welcome to episode three of Wrestling Jeopardy. Yes. Thanks to the over 3,000 of you who watched our first two episodes where we bonded and shared our absolutely useless wrestling knowledge that is rattling around in our brains and boy, does it really take up a lot of space in mine. I mean, I could have been a doctor or a lawyer, but nope, here I am reciting the lyrics to Ass Man. With that, you know how Jeopardy works. I provide the questions and you give me the answers. On the screen now are the rules and they're not too extreme. All I ask is that you keep track of your score and then let me know how you did by leaving a comment below and perhaps your results will get you that coveted seat. Where, Dwayne? At the head of the table. So what do you say? Let's go to the board and check out the categories to see what you'll be quizzed on in this episode. First up, we have heartbeats. These are gonna be clues all about the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart, and his entrance theme songs that he's created over the years. I'm gonna give you the name of the wrestler. You're gonna to have to give me the name of the song that Jimmy Hart wrote for them. Followed by Coming Up Roses. This is gonna be a visual category. I'm gonna show you the picture of the wrestler and you're gonna to have to give me their name. Keep in mind, look at the quotes there, roses. Think about that for a little bit, okay? Moving on to the next category, we have love triangles followed by WWE Weddings. And last but certainly not least, the audio category for this episode, Name That Theme. Okay, it's all about the game and how you play it, but maybe you noticed a little theme this week. Ah, yes, do you smell it? I smell it. Love is in the air. It's a special Valentine's Day episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. So let's go to the board and kick things off with heartbeats for 200. Shawn Michaels. The correct answer, of course. I'm wearing the t-shirt, sexy boy. He's just a sexy boy, sexy boy. He's not your boy toy, boy toy. Moving on, let's go to coming up roses for 200. This former NXT women's champion is toxically attractive. The correct answer, the lovely, beautiful, and talented Mandy Rose. Here comes love triangles for 200. Hulk Hogan, Miss Elizabeth, and who? Who, 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 who? The correct answer, the macho man, Randy Savage, who looked in Hulk Hogan's eyes and said, oh, yeah, brother, I see the lust in your eyes for Miss Elizabeth. Oh, yeah, dig it. Those eyes right there. We are on to WWE Weddings for 200. The wedding of Stephanie McMahon and Test was ruined thanks to this Attitude Era superstar. The correct answer, Triple H, who drugged her and then drove her through a drive through wedding ceremony in Las Vegas. So romantic. Aww. And on to the final clue of the 200 point round, name that theme. The correct answer, dude love. Hopefully you went five for five and you banked yourself a thousand points. Now let's go to the 400 point round. Things are gonna be a little bit more difficult now, but let's start off with heartbeats for 400. Dusty Rhodes. The correct answer, the name of the song that Jimmy Hart wrote for the American Dream Dusty Rhodes, The Common Man Boogie. He's just a common man. All right, we're on to coming up roses for 400. This party animal spent his days in between matches riding the Exotic Express. The correct answer, Adam Rose. We are on to love triangles for 400. Edge, Lita, and who? 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 
The correct answer, Matt Hardy. Moving on, WWE Weddings for 400. When Randy Savage and Miss Elizabeth tied the knot at the 1991 SummerSlam, they received this gift from Jake Roberts at their wedding reception. Thankfully, when I got married uh, years and years ago, nobody gave me and my beautiful wife a snake. I'm gonna save the world. <laughs> Although, you know, I might have given her a, a snake, uh, if you know what I'm talking about, know what I mean? Yeah. Now, it doesn't take a very big snake to do the job. Okay. Let's finish off the 400 point round with our audio clue. Name that theme. The correct answer, I love you, brother love. All right, that's Ty Dillinger down. 15 questions to go. Here comes the next round. Let's kick it off with heartbeats for 600. The Honky Tonk Man. And the answer is cool, cocky, and b -b 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 bad. I got long side burns and my hair slicked back. I'm coming to your town and I peek at like I'm just a honky tonk man. I'm just a honky tonk man. I'm just a honky tonk man. I'm cool, I'm cocky, I'm bad. Moving on now to coming up roses for 600. This superhero in training was a loyal sidekick to the hurricane. told you to keep an uh, eye on that uh, roses quotation. The correct answer is Rosie. All right, here it comes. Love triangles for 600. Chris Jericho, Christian, and who? Who, 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 who? The correct answer, Trish Stratus. On to WWE Weddings for six. On the 1,000th episode of Monday Night Raw, AJ Lee chose to not say yes, yes, yes to this wrestler. The correct answer, poor Daniel Bryan. AJ has left Daniel Bryan at the altar because yes. he accepted a business proposal yes. for Mr. McMahon to be yes. the general manager. And finishing off the 600 point round, name that theme. Talk about one of the most random, out of place debuts in WWE history when Maria and Mike Kanellis showed up at the 2017 Money in the Bank. Nobody knew what the heck was going on, but this song, awesome. All right, we're really picking up steam now, and we're on to the 800 point round. Let's kick it off again with heartbeats for eight. The fabulous Rougeau brothers. All Raymond and Jacques wanted to be was a pair of all-American boys. They're all-American boys. All-American boys. Here we go. Coming up roses for 800. This playboy claimed to only weigh 217 pounds. I'm not sure how many of you have stuck with the blow away diet for your New Year's resolution, but if you did, Playboy Buddy Rose would be so proud. Moving on, love triangles for eight. Eve Torres, John Cena, and who? Who, 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 who? The correct answer we're looking for, the Long Island Ice Z, Zack Ryder. 
Here comes WWE Weddings for 800. The relationship between this bleach blonde duo eventually led to a commitment ceremony where everything went wrong. The correct answer, Billy and Chuck. You, you love so good to me. And let's finish off all the 800 point questions. Name that theme. The world's largest love machine. The correct answer, Viscera. All I can picture is Big Daddy V just humping some dude, I don't even remember who it was, at the Royal Rumble like 15 years ago. It's just this disturbing image now and I can't get it out of my head and now it's gonna be in yours too. So you're welcome. You're welcome. All right, 20 questions down, five to go. It's that time where the steel cage begins to lower because this is the most difficult round. Five 1,000 point questions Really gonna test your wrestling knowledge. Let's start it off with heartbeats for 1,000. The Young Stallions. And for context, I'll tell you that the Young Stallions are jumping Jim Powers and pretty Paul Roma. I used to crank this song up on my Sony Walkman way back in the day. The correct answer, crank it up. All right, we're on to Coming Up Roses for 1,000. This Costa Rican beauty went from being a crazed fan of Beth Phoenix to being hired as her intern. The correct answer is Rosa Mendez. All right, moving on, closing out love triangles for 1,000. Rusev, Lana, and who? Who, 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 who? Now this question, I would have accepted like three answers because this is basically like a love pentagon, I guess. I don't know. You had Rusev, Lana. I was looking for Bobby Lashley, but he also could have said Summer Rae or even Dolph Ziggler. So there you have it. On to WWE Weddings for 1,000. Speaking of Lana and Lashley, their 2019 wedding was interrupted by not only Rusev popping out of a cake, but also this wrestler vaguely professing her love for Lana. The correct answer, Liv Morgan. Hard to believe that this was the final episode of Monday Night Raw in 2019. Like, and it was like the last segment of the year. Just crazy. All right, and on to the final clue on the board for 1,000. Name that theme. Of course, this wouldn't be a special Valentine's Love edition of Wrestling Jeopardy if I didn't include the theme song for Greg the Hammer Valentine called Hammer Man. All right, so how'd you do? Good, bad, ugly? Well, it doesn't matter. Yo, Jimmy, hit me with the final Jeopardy sh category. All right, how well do you know wrestling's real life couples? Time to make those wagers. All right, time's up. Let's take a look at the final clue of episode three. Which of these couples is not a couple in real life? Andrade and Charlotte Flair, CM Punk and AJ Lee, Jay Uso and Naomi. Good luck. I tried to pull a little twin magic on you there. The correct answer, who is not a real life wrestling couple? Jay Uso and Naomi. Because of course, Naomi is married to 
Jimmy Uso, Jay Uso's brother, Yeet. Yeet? Or should I say, no Yeet? I don't know! And that'll do it for episode three of Wrestling Jeopardy. Don't forget to leave a comment with your score, and if you like what you saw, please give this video a massive thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe. Yeah. I've been your host, Kevin J. Callis. Yeah! And I'll see you next time.